After months of discussion, dilly-dallying on seat sharing, it now looks like that there possibly could be some ray of hope for the Air India Alliance bloc. Now, just months ahead of the Lok Sabha elections and after some kind of setbacks, lot of exits, the parties may be a step closer to finalizing seat sharing in various states. Let's talk about these states one by one. First up, in Uttar Pradesh. Now, in Uttar Pradesh, we are learning that it is likely that Priyanka Gandhi or Rahul Gandhi could contest to Maharashtra, where a decision is likely to be taken by the end of this month. And in Bengal and in Delhi, we are also learning that there could be some bit of movement on the alliance with the Trinamool and the Aam Aadmi Party, respectively. This is all after some back and forth. Now, it is likely that the IND Alliance bloc could be a step closer to truce. And uh, let's also get you details of what's been happening in the state of Maharashtra, where in particular, there has been a lot of conversation on how the seat alliance formula could work out. Now, the MVA has decided on about 39 seats. Maharashtra, remember, is the second biggest state of tally after the state of Uttar Pradesh that has 48 Lok Sabha seats. The seat sharing conundrum here remains on remaining nine seats. This is Northwest Mumbai, South Central Mumbai, Yavatmal, Varshim, Vardha, Ramtek, and Sangli Kolhapur. And Prakash Ambedkar, who remember has been included in the MVA, is bargaining for more seats, is what we are learning. And this could actually make this a difficult task for the alliance. Akali Garunil is also joining us live right now. He's been tracking that story closely. You know, Arunil, there were reports uh, of JP Nadda also trying to meet Prakash Ambedkar and you never know which way he could uh, move, though he's actually said that I'm going to be with uh, the IND Alliance bloc. But anything we are learning about what possibly he could end up doing and the larger picture in Maharashtra, Arunil? Uh, well, with, uh, firstly, answering your first question about Prakash Ambedkar, at least till now, he has made it clear that he's part of the Mahavikas Agadi. He hmm. said that I'm not part of the India Alliance per se, but in Maharashtra, I am with the Congress, uh, uh, Charat Pawar's NCP and Uttar Thakre. However, all the three parties accept that they're having a tough time because of uh, Prakash Ambedkar. The kind of demands that have been put forth by uh, Prakash Ambedkar with respect to asking for more number of seats as well, because earlier, uh, the seats used to be divided between two parties, like Congress and NCP. Now, Uddha Thakre is also in the play. Uddha Thakre basically will be asking for most number of seats. Uh, that will be followed by Congress, and then it will be followed by Sharad Pawar's NCP. Now, Prakash Ambedkar also asking for seats makes it a uh, makes it a very a conundrum kind of a situation for uh, the Mahavika Sagadi in the state of Maharashtra. Tomorrow, in Pune, there will be a crucial meeting that will be held. Mm -hmm. uh, Sharad Pawar will be there, Aditya Thakre will be there, Nana Patole, Maharashtra Congress Chief, will also be there. This is the first India Alliance meeting uh, in which the representatives of all the 48 constituencies in Maharashtra, party representatives of three pa of the three parties, will be called in. Uh, they will be asked, and a, a, a strategy will be drawn okay. out based on what they have been saying. They, okay. the, these representatives will also be told by the mm. leaders to work in unison so that the India Alliance succeeds against a strong opponent. Okay, that and, is and Maharashtra, in. Arunil, is a critical state. And uh, thank you for right now, you know, putting together that big picture on those 48 Lok Sabha seats. As I say, thank you to you right now, but we'll now shift our focus to what's been happening in the other big state. That is Bengal, 42 Lok Sabha seats here. And this is a state, ladies and gentlemen, you would recall where Mamata Banerjee for the longest time said nothing doing. I am not talking to the Congress. But it seems that there could be a possibility of a conversation that could again begin between the TMC and the Congress. The Congress says uh, talks could possibly happen soon. In fact, Jairam Ramesh has responded to all these uh, talks that are going on. First up, listen in to what he has to say. छह दिन लगातार सुबह दोपहर शाम मैं कहता रहा पर मुझे पता नहीं कि आप सुनते हैं रहे कि नहीं पर मैं जरूर कहता रहा कि ममता बनर्जी के साथ बातचीत अभी भी जारी है दरवाजे बंद नहीं है ममता बनर्जी के साथ भी बातचीत चल रही है अंतिम रूप अभी गठबंधन को बशिम मंगल में नहीं दिया गया है बातचीत चल रहा है
सो जयराम रमेश सिंह दरवाजे खुले हैं बातचीत चल रही है एंड लेट्स पुर आउट मोर डिटेल्स ऑन दिस बिग स्टोरी द कांग्रेस टीएमसी टॉक्स आर ऑन लाइक यू जस्ट हर्ड फ्रॉम जयराम रमेश बट वॉट्स द रियल स्टोरी द रियल स्टोरी हियर इज दैट द टी एम सी इज डिमांडिंग अ सीट इन मेघालय टू सीट्स इन असैम discussions are still on between these two parties and that is the reason why this possibly is taking a little bit of time niamik also my colleague is joining us live and she is tracking what possibly could happen between the congress and the trinamool niamika is this really going to happen because many people initially said that it it's you know tactically suiting both the trinamool and the congress if they continue to fight differently in bengal and that is why you know the opposition space possibly will not just go to the bjp but are we hearing that there could be a seat sharing alliance sealed between them soon Well, absolutely. When the talks had started between the Congress Party and the TMC, it was being clarified by the TMC that we are not ready to give more than two seats to the Congress Party, and that was the reason why the state leadership of the Congress Party in West Bengal was quite upset that TMC is not going to give more than two seats in the state of West Bengal. Uh, which are already being there uh, with the congress party uh, so for that matter uh, bo uh, the, both the parties had put on hold uh, all, all of these talks and it, it was the west bengal chief minister mamta banerjee who had made an announcement that the tnc is going to contest solo in the upcoming 2024 general elections but now in the latest update which we are getting from our sources it is being uh, told to us that uh, the talk between the congress and the tnc is once again started as uh, the leadership of both the parties are now being involved but it is on uh, it is a demand of the tnc that they want one seat from the state of meghalaya and two seats from assam and on that basis only they can reconsider the proposal which was been given by the congress party in the state of west bengal so now it is a challenge for the congress party whether they are going to approve hmm. uh, the suggestion which is being given by uh, the tnc and then only there will be an alliance in the state of west bengal or not but it is also being said that the talks are going on in a positive manner and it might be possible that there could be an alliance between the congress and the tnc in mm. the state of west bengal and there will be an announcement before the prime minister's tour in the state oh yes and that begins in uh, march there is already a lot of trouble vis-a-vis -vis sandesh khali that mamata banerjee will have to respond to niamika thank you for getting us that bit of information as we now transition to the other union territory this is delhi delhi remember is just about seven lok sabha seats but the message could be huge and that is why what the congress and the aap could decide to do in delhi is significant now a few days ago arvind kejriwal hinted that the aam aadmi party will go solo in these elections but now the broader contours of the alliance seem to have been decided the congress is likely to contest in chandni chowk in east delhi in northeast delhi The Aam Aadmi Party instead will be contesting on South Delhi, North West Delhi, New Delhi and the West Delhi seats. The Aam Aadmi Party also claims that the decision on seat sharing will be announced soon. They also allege that the unity, the unity of the IND alliance is rattling the BJP. In fact, the Aap much like they do always is making a big allegation and they say the bjp is threatening us they say in case the aam aadmi party does not leave the ind alliance arvind kejriwal will be arrested very soon aam aadmi party aur congress ek sath aakar apni seaton ke batware pe aam sehmati bana chuke hain aur aaj ya kal mein hi जैसे ही कांग्रेस के साथ मल्टी स्टेट अलायंस करेंगे अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को गिरफ्तार कर लिया जाएगा और भारतीय जनता पार्टी से जुड़े हुए लोग भी हमें यह बात कह रहे हैं कि अगर अलायंस हुआ तो अरविंद केजरीवाल जेल में गए और अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को अगर आप लोग बाहर देखना चाहते हैं तो एक ही तरीका है अरविंद केजरीवाल कांग्रेस के साथ इंडिया गठबंधन का हिस्सा ना बने के पास ये मैसेज आया है कि अगर आम आदमी पार्टी ने इंडिया अलायंस नहीं छोड़ी तो आने वाले दो दिनों में अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को सीबीआई का नोटिस आएगा और उनको दोनों सीबीआई और ईडी द्वारा 
गिरफ्तार कर लिया जाएगा आम आदमी पार्टी और अरविंद केजरीवाल जी आपकी जेल की धमकियों से डरने वाले नहीं हैं। 